Sonic, as we all know, is an extremely popular video game character that has a pretty interesting background. For one, there's apparently two versions of him from two different dimensions, and the Sonic lore just gets worse from there, trust me. However, modern Sonic, the version that has been getting the most games recently, gets a lot of hate from the community, mainly because a number of his games weren't just that good. However, there are quite a few stages in these modern Sonic games that stand up from the rest. And for clarification, the five games that I classify as modern Sonic games are Sonic Unleashed, Sonic Generations, Sonic Colors, Sonic Lost World, and Sonic Forces. I do not classify Sonic 06 as a modern Sonic game, as Sonic's look in that game was pretty different from his look in today's age, and because I want to completely forget about that game. Also, for originality, I will include at least one stage from every game. Yes, even the not as good ones, because even they had some good level design here and there. With all that said, let's begin. Sonic Colors is known for having a lot of well-designed, fun stages, and Starlight Carnival Act 5 is definitely one of them. Not only does it have amazing visuals in the first section, but the way that the second section's platforming is presented and pulled off really makes the stage a fun challenge. Next up on our list, Null Space has to be the best stage from Sonic Forces, and I think a lot of people agree with me on this. The game in and of itself was criticized for being too linear, and this level has to be the least linear 3D stage in this game. With plenty of alternate routes to traverse on, hordes of enemies to destroy, and a freaking amazing soundtrack, this level truly shines more than almost all of the rest in Sonic Forces. Chemical Plant Act 2 from Sonic Generations is probably the best 3D rendition of the zone to date. Not only are the visuals amazing and the speed-based platforming and progression sweet, but there's a surprising amount of side paths that add flavor to the level to make it more than just a straight path. It's funny, because Sonic Generations, in all of its awesomeness, was even able to take a level from a ridiculously bad Sonic game and turn it into something great. Even a bit better than Chemical Plant, Burning City's visuals are striking, and its homing attack platforming feels really solid to traverse through. Plus, its variety of different platforming and boost parts through the stage make it pretty dang fun to play. The rooftop run day stage from Sonic Unleashed is just simply enjoyable, despite being linear. You'll get the most fun from just blazing through this open level and trying to get the fastest time, maybe even taking some side routes to speed things up. It feels the way a boost level should feel in a 3D Sonic game. Simplistic, yet fun at the same time. Tropical Resort Act 1, while being a bit linear, still feels fun and fresh, as this whole stage design is based around using the boost gimmick and making it enjoyable. Instead of having shorter boost sections mixed in with tight platforming, this level design is longer to accommodate with the boost gimmick. Not only this, but the side paths in this level are also enjoyable, as there is almost a whole level underneath the stage which you can choose to explore or not. The choice is up to you, and that's part of the reason why this level is one of the best. Yeah. 
Okay, so Sonic Lost World was the Sonic game that came out in 2014 that people didn't really receive well. A lot of people criticized it for its sloppy controls or uninspired level design. However, there is one stage in this game that I find absolutely fantastic, and maybe it's because I was able to overcome the sloppy controls to really enjoy it for what it was. Regardless, this stage is the Lava Mountain Act 3. Man, I can go on for minutes about the stage, but I'll try and shorten it down. First of all, the music is bad as heck, let me just say that. Not only that, but the level's presentation and design are spectacular, as it has you pulling off maneuvers using all of the moves that you've learned in the game to finally get to Zavok and take him down. This level is truly at its best when you play it in time attack and try and get the best record, as you feel amazing when you pull off all those sick moves to finally get that S rank. Asteroid Coaster Act 1 is not only awesome because of its atmosphere and visuals, but its level design is amazing as well. The transition that this level has from riding on roller coasters to reversing inside of an asteroid to even running on the rings of planets really make this stage one of the best, and plus, the music is killer as well. City Escape, which is probably the most iconic Sonic Adventure stage, was remixed incredibly well in Sonic Generations. First of all, the music is also really good, like a lot of other stages on this list. But on top of that, the open level design for the stage, with all of the alternate routes, really make it stand out, and I find myself coming back to this level time after time again. It's that good. And the best modern Sonic level, in my opinion, is Sweet Mountain Act 1. I honestly think this level has the perfect combination of all the aspects that a good Sonic level should have. It's got the right mix of high speed sections, fun platformy sections, as well as plenty of side routes to keep you occupied. Simply put, I just had fun while playing this level and it shows how Sonic levels should be. Just simply fun. Well, y'all think you're watching my list on the top 10 best modern Sonic levels. Do y'all agree with this list? Let me know by commenting down below and make sure to leave a like and subscribe to stay tuned for more upcoming top 10s as well as the other gaming content on my channel. With all that said, Real Gaming, over and out.